Frederick Dawson. Dad Dawson plays it wide out right. And Yarmolenko's on it now. Um, looking for help. Plays it nicely at Prague. Plays it out wide to Lanzini. Um, just trying to work. Goes past his men nicely. Gets to the byline. Put, cuts it back and it's 1-0. Yes. yes. What a fine goal. Lanzini. Lanzini. <laughs> and uh, that was... Oh. I mean, it's been coming. Most of the shots, as you've just pointed out there, have been from long-range speculative efforts that, well, hang on, we're West Ham looking to break here. Um, and uh, Yarmolenko could be in it. Yarmolenko's oh, gone round. Oh, and he's put this in the post. Oh, uh, <laughs> now we've got, got the ball still. still. That's it. Cuts in five. Oh, no one on. And oh, Manchester United dear. are going to break. Oh, what a chance that was for Yarmolenko. That should have been two. Now, Fornells has played his superb ball. It's Bowen is, look is at bursting look at the him. area. Look inside, oh. look inside, look inside, inside. look inside. Oh. Come on, Sam! Oh. Oh. We should be three up. We should be three up. We're down in the last 10 seconds, and that's... Thank, thank you, Fernandes. Noble yeah. plays it back to Ariola, who larraps it forward. Wallet. And um, it's, it's been blocked. Well, that's it. But, uh, that's, it, that's your four minutes. And it's there. <laughs> yes. The final yeah. whistle has blown at Old Trafford. It's finished. Manchester United nil. West Ham United won. The Hammers knock out Manchester United, one of the favourites. What a performance from the Hammers second string. Um, I'm speechless. Mark Noble, what what, what a, uh, to be fair, had a really good second half. The whole team played superbly. Craig Dawson, man of the match. Andre Yarmolenko, Jared Byrne running their socks off. Alex Kroll making his debut. Um, getting toes in everywhere. The goalkeeper, Alphonse Ariola didn't have an awful lot to do, but was there when uh, when he needed to be. Superb defensive performance. This is a Diop, really strong uh, in the back. And of course, uh, the only goal of the game coming after nine minutes, Manuel Lanzini scoring uh, what proved to be the winner for West Ham uh, after Ryan Fredericks went on a little run down the right-hand side. And David Moyes, no, finally, finally, has his win over his former club as West Ham progressed to the next round of the competition. Yeah, um, please from um he's some reason he's having a long conversation with Moss, um, maybe over the uh the, the need to the ghoulies that um uh Matter um uh put in and um and, and the stamp that he put in on Lanzini. But um um <laughs> I, I think you know we're gonna talk man and match later. I don't think there's much doubt that Sky have picked the right guy for once. I think um Dawson was like a, a magnet to that ball. Every cross he put in. Diop wasn't far behind him. I thought he had a stormer as well. Yeah. Um, and um, but uh, uh, travelling support, rightly getting applauded by the players and and David Moyes. Um, it's a long way to go on a a Wednesday night, and um, you know, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it's it's pretty full that away section. I have to say. Um, well, let's. But, um... Um, Let's let's hope we'll get to a member of that away section on the excuse me on the stream uh, fairly soon. The pink Palermo, yeah, of course, he's up there uh, tonight at Old Trafford, cheering on the yeah. the Hammers. And look at just look at their face. Look, I mean, look yeah. at Mark Noble. You can see what it means to him, can't you? What a what a way to uh, you know end his uh, end his career. This could this this is you know what a performance. I mean, and especially. You know, considering what happened on Sunday, you know, it, it was you could see how gutted he was, couldn't you? Uh, yeah, having missed yeah. that penalty, but tonight it's uh, we, we was a bit worried, not not too good in the first half, but come good in the second half and being part of a fantastic, uh, memorable West Ham performance, and, and you know, shades again of of two thousand and seven. You know, we, we that year it was um, at, sorry, two thousand seven, two thousand and one. Um, Hanu Tienen, of course, was the 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 debutant yeah. that day. Uh, yeah. Alex Kroll and Alphonse Ariola in the team, uh, you know, for the first time tonight. But uh, it's not going to get much better than that, is it? No. Um, you know, they, they, they just nothing but praise for, for the team. I mean, you know, it, it's it's taking some getting used to. But, you know, whisper it, we're actually not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Even you know? our second uh, string. Yeah. Uh, we, we, as you rightly say, we've come up here and won before in the past. Yeah, and it's been sort of backs to the wall. Um, you know, Lord knows what, how we've gotten away with it, but that's not been the case today. We've, no, we've not earned so. that win. That win has been totally and utterly earned. It wasn't a smack and grab job at all. You hear? Um, just stand to up. Wolves Tottenham is two all. That's having the penalties there. 
Uh, Chelsea won all against Villa. They're having penalties. Arsenal beat Wimbledon 3 0. Brighton beat Swansea 2 0. And um, I'm sure we're all gutted about this one. Millwall 0, Leicester 2. So well, it, it would be nice to see Tottenham, Chelsea, and uh, Manchester United all go out on the same night, wouldn't it? Same that night, would be uh, yeah. unprecedented. <laughs> yeah, 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 wouldn't it be? But uh, um, the draw for the fourth round is coming up here. So, yes. some so uh, we, we, we've I'm not even mentioned that, have we? Uh, all night, <laughs> yeah. presumably not not wanting to be presumptuous, but uh, yeah, well, we'll find out who we've got soon enough. Any anyone you fancy in the next round, though? No? Um, to be honest, I, 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 years of experience have told me not to tempt fate and say I'd like so and so in the next round until we're actually in it. Um, so I've, I've only just this literally this minute thought, oh, we've got another round next. You know, I've just sort of yeah. read back in the victory, sort of more than anything else. So, yes. um, uh, yeah, just so, it's, uh, um, so yeah, I'm just having a quick look at the YouTube comments. Um, uh, yeah, Hobo comes out with magnificent West Ham, David Moyes, very well done. I have not. <laughs> I've not been so great since my honeymoon. <laughs> uh, Those sorry. were the days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, John Coney was um, dialing in from the States. Atla Atlanta Ironworks are a happy crew. Um, what else? Uh, um, comments about um, Matic. They can't take action against him because he plays in Man United. Um, it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Um, yes. So, well, I mean, uh, let's let's talk about that quickly because, you know, as we we pointed out during the game, Matic really should have uh, shouldn't have been on the pitch for the last twenty minutes or so. I mean, the, I, uh, been I mean, yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, the first one was what 50, 58th minute when the uh, quite clearly and and <laughs> without any reason need uh, uh, Mister Soufal in the uh, in the short and curlies. Yeah. And then, um, when was it, 67 minutes, so um, nine minutes later, a uh, stamp on the ankle of Lanzini, both clear, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, yellow card offences, if not worse. Yeah, um, clear, should have been on the pitch. Yeah. I mean, both were clear, deliberate attempts to injure an opponent. And, um, you know, I think you're being generous saying that they were both yellow. I think they are both reds. At least, yeah. Um, you know. Um, yeah, it's... It, 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 Quite simple. If you if you do either of those out on the street, yeah, uh, it, it, you know, and 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 a Manchester's constabulary there, you're you're going to be arrested for, for ABH if not GBH. You know, so um, um, yeah, uh, just just disgusting. I mean, particularly since um, what is disgusting is the fact that uh, um, both were spotted. Yeah, we got three yeah. kicks for both of them. So. If you spot that, how can you not think that's worthy of some form of sanction? But absolutely, you know, absolutely. Uh, well, clearly, um, clearly, Moss had his next meal on his mind, and um, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, rather than the game. But um, yeah, uh, let's um, uh, let, let's let's talk man of the match. No, uh, you know, we we saw Sky give it to. Um, Craig Dawson and, and you know we, we were commenting throughout the throughout the match how how well he was playing but there were some really good performances all around I mean I I was really impressed by Yarmolenko thought he, he all right he missed that glorious chance to put the yeah. game to bed at the end but worked supremely hard uh, up and down that right flank Jarrah Bowen exactly the same uh, you know not uh, not too many shots or efforts but you know did so well to close Manchester United down it's a Diop let's give credit where it's due you know he's had his knockers um Fantastic performance, kept getting his foot in, sticking it in the way, low crosses, headers, everything. Same as, um, you know, as, as Dawson. Alex Crow um, was really busy, wasn't he, at, at the start? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, 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 another one, you know, you go throughout the team, there's there's a, a lot of a lot of uh, potential winners there tonight. Are you going to stick with Craig Dawson or um, maybe change for someone else? Uh, I'll stick with Craig Dawson, but um, okay. he, he's won it by a hair's breadth for me from Dio. Yeah. Um, and um, Diop's probably a hair's breadth uh, ahead of pretty much everybody else. Um, I wasn't over convinced by Ariola at times. Um, uh, he did very well when, when on the rare occasion that he had to make safe shots. But um, 
there were a couple of um, little um, iffy moments. Um, you know, the failure to get that cross that meant he had to make a really good save a couple of seconds later. Um, yep. the, 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 the one that he did, that acrobatic punch, when really it would have been easier to stay on two feet and catch it, I think, really. But, um, yeah, I mean, minor quibbles in the grand scheme of things, but um, I know Fabianski's had some critics of late. Um, I think maybe those those couple of incidents might stick in the mind enough for people to cut Fabianski a little bit of slack. Um, I suspect he will come in um, back into the, the into the team on uh, Saturday, and um, but yeah, um, yeah, Dawson one, Diop two, pretty much everyone else three um, in, in in the pecking order for man of the match. Yeah, I I I, I don't know. I, I Dawson was fantastic. I, I'm going to give it to Diop because I, I thought you know he was did an equally good job there at the back tonight. I mean, as I say, I, I, was, I thought Yarmolenko worked really hard. Um, Kroll, good debut. Um, Sufol came in and did well. Um, even even Ben Johnson, um, you know, was was yeah, yeah, incredibly even, hard. I haven't even mentioned him yet, have we? Yeah, um, no, um, uh, I mean, you know, you didn't notice him because he, he was just doing a quietly effective job. How many, yeah. um, how many, how many sort of because he was blocking, how many sort of Crosses went behind players into the box from Man United. Loads, loads. Hey, sorry, I've got a little marker on my um, screen here. Is that Pinky trying to get in? Or I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm not seeing it come up. I'm not seeing it come um, up. I've got the little sort of little silhouette chess man. Um, it's come up on the right right hand side. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But there's no there's no request. Uh, we, we we would normally get a request if he was uh, if someone was trying to get yeah, him. But no, it just seems like a, you know there. like like when yeah. somebody joins and they you haven't got picture there. Yeah. Um, that, that it was that, but that seems to have disappeared anyway. Um, so we, match. We hope he'll join us very soon. Anyway. <laughs> What's the match that? So I put it on pause. Go on then. Go on then. And then when you've done that, I'm going to read you some uh, lovely messages from the Manchester United Forum. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> right. Um, attempts. Manchester United 27, West Ham 9. On target, Man United 6, West Ham 3. Uh, they had seven corners to our five. 49 touches in the opposition box to our 21. Uh, their passing accuracy was 85% to our 76 uh, they had 61% possession to our 39. Yep. Um, as I say, what it doesn't say is how many of those attempts were efforts from, you know, outside the box. There yep. were a lot of them. Um, you know, uh, Fernandes in particular, the frustration was, was showing and it was hilarious. The number yeah. of times that after maybe 15, 20 passes, it's come to Fernandes who's thought, we've had 15, 20 passes. We, you know, it's about now we ought to have a, sh a shot and um, lo and behold, somebody's clambering up the aisle to get the ball from behind the goal, you know. Um, yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Um, so, uh, I, yeah. I'm just uh, No, I'm, I'm just seeing um, Carlton Coles doing an interview on Sky Sports as we speak and he yeah. can barely contain his delight. Um, I, mean, I mean, I've not, I've got the sound off. I'll put the subtitles on, so yeah. I can see Rugby always sad, but... Uh, it's it's almost it's almost like that post match interview eleven years ago that we referred to earlier, you know, yeah. where he was where he was steaming. Um, equally delighted tonight, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure he and the and the travelling hammers all uh, enjoyed their night outts at Old Trafford. Should, do, you want, do you want to hear some comments from Red Cafe? Oh please, I'd love to. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll come to uh, we'll come to everyone else's man in the match very very soon. But uh, Red Cafe is uh, is fun tonight. I'm going to enjoy doing the opposition view tomorrow. That's for <laughs> sure. Um, th this is one of my favourites. Verminator a post called Verminator says, "I can he take the strain? Man City will win it anyway. Quite happy not to waste time getting to the semis." <laughs> oh, how Sarah them grapes didn't want to win it anyway. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Um, poor old uh, Marshall is getting absolutely ripped to pieces. Giggs is less foot, left foot says surely the end for Marshall. Utter garbage. Fifteen games up front, no goals. And Protake says is Marshall done at the club? If so, just moving on, just a bit all round. Mere. 
Uh, Ron 10 says, out of the Mickey Mouse Cup, now we can concentrate on winning the Premier League, Champions League, World Cup and Intergalactic Trophy. Sets a slight tongue in cheek on that one. Yeah, and yeah, uh, so. James 35 saying, uh, well, all the fans who didn't care about this competition, you've just had your wish. It's OK, though, because Ole doesn't need trophies to keep his job. Top four will be just fine. Let's hope we get an easy draw in the FA Cup. And, and Hellhunter says, why didn't Bruno's goal stand? Isn't the ball free for all from a referee's ball once it hits the ground? Explain that to him, Noam, if you will. Um, the, the, the law changed um, recently, that I think last season, um, that if the ball hits the referee and breaks up uh, a, a move from, from either the attacking side or the defending side, um, the, ball, the, the game is stopped and a drop ball is awarded. Uh, the referee will drop the ball to the team who've been wronged by his interception. Um, I don't well, think there's on the telly. Do you, do you want yeah, to have a listen I'll, to what Mark's saying? And uh, I'll, yeah. I'll run through a few more Man U comments. Yeah, um, uh, uh, Acquire uh, Me, Manchester United fan, posting on redcafe.net, commenting on the game, says, I'm happy to be out of the League Cup, to be honest. We need to focus on the important stuff. Oh, it's wonderful. And uh, what else have we got here? Pratoush United says, typical Ole Cup game. We should have played kids. Stop wasting time on dross that we have. In the squad, uh, Gary Lefo saying ridiculous that we didn't score, having dominated so much. Martial really isn't the answer to any other question than who should never play for Manchester United again. Um, yeah, uh, the opposition view is going to be an absolute belter uh, by the looks of this uh, tomorrow morning. Let's just turn our attention quickly to your man of the match. Uh, I asked who you guys uh, posting on the live stream, joining us on the live stream, uh, enjoyed most tonight. Um, David O'Rourke, no, David O'Rourke just saying we are massive. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh, John Harrington uh, saying if Issa Diop has had a better game for us, I can't remember it. Uh, fair point, John. David O'Rourke, I'm going for Kroll, very tidy. Charlie Clark, I like having Diop's pace next to Dawson, reassuring. Overall, Dawson, man of the match, though, he was organising things. Um, Moby Dick, man of the match, uh, Diop, getting a lot of, um, getting a lot of choices, isn't he, uh, Diop? Steve Page, uh, friend of the show. Uh, also saying Diop man of the match for me, mainly because I missed most of it and it looked solid at the end from what I saw. Steve, I can assure you, is uh, equally uh, proficient throughout the game for the rest of it. Um, Hobo Changba uh, saying, yet again, superb all-round performances, which makes man of the match tricky. But Craig Dawson, for me, left out on Sunday and back with that performance. Fantastic. Rob Young, Diop man of the match, relentless. Uh, Rob Young, no, meant Dawson. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Uh, Elaine Nelson asking, is, uh, is Colton overchuffed? I think it's fair to say he is, uh, even though the, the head isn't steaming uh, tonight. Hobo Changba saying, uh, Changba saying, Red Cafe, more like Sad Cafe, yes. Unfortunately, Hobo, I do remember them. Um, yes, yeah, Steve, yeah, we, we remember that one. Uh, what time is the fourth round draw? draw asks uh, Moby Dick. Moby, I have no idea, but I would imagine it will follow as soon as these interviews have done, I, I would guess. Um, just... Uh, trying to see what's happening in some of those other ties. Noam's just listening to Mark Noble, who's been interviewed by the uh, guys in the TV studio for Sky. Um, just looking at the latest scores now. Uh, penalties. So the, the games between Wolves and Tottenham, and Tottenham, Tottenham have gone to penalties. Uh, now, does that mean, I think Tottenham, I think Tottenham, have Tottenham won that? Yeah, it looks like Tottenham have beaten Wolves 3-2 on penalties, which is a, uh, Slightly disappointing, but uh, there you go. The Chelsea Villa tie is currently 4 3 to Chelsea on penalties. That one's still carrying on. So, uh, so far through Brighton beating Swansea 2 0, Millwall knocked out by Leicester, unfortunately. Um, Tottenham beating Wolves on penalties. Arsenal comfortably through, beating AFC Wimbledon 3 0. Tinkle Manchester United got knocked out by West Ham United 1 0. Uh, Chelsea Villa still in play. Mark Noble was still. Uh, in conversation on Sky, obviously enjoying that uh, that particular interview. But um, what a night it's been for the Hammers! What a fantastic night it's been. Mark Noble is Mark. Is he picking up? What's he got there? I'm not sure what he's picked up. There. I don't know if that's a man of the match wall, but uh, um, hopefully yes. Noble will tell us all about it. No, what was that at the end there that um, Noble's picked up? They gave him that um, that rather sort of <laughs> garish um, trophy uh, to take into the dressing room for. Um, uh, for Craig Dawson. Um, okay. Can you give that to Craig Dawson? Um, yeah, it was a fun interview. Um, yeah. Uh, some, some comments that leap out there. Um, 
they asked him about that chance he had at the end, uh, towards the end, and he didn't put it away. And um, and he, 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 he said he thinks it's the furthest forward he's been on a football pitch in ten years. <laughs> and um, and uh, he said, yeah, either it was a a, a, a good a, a good save or a poor shot. Maybe I should have left it run on my left. Well, we all know that Noble rarely um, <laughs> touches the ball with, with, with his left foot unless he really has to. But um, um, but uh, it's about it. he was full of praise for these supporters, and um, uh, he said, you know, they had a lot of the ball, but we worked really, really hard, and we've earned that win. And um, you know, it, it, they asked him about sort of picking himself up after the penalty, and he. You know, he brushed it off. He said, you know, these things happen in football. He said, um, you know, I was gutted on, I was sick as a, you know, sick as a dog or, or sick as a pig, I think he said, on um, sick as Sunday a pig. night. But, you, but yeah, you've got to pick it. So I went to training Monday. I thought I'm playing Wednesday. So that was it. I put it out of my head. Um, they're talking about the, the, the penalty claim. Yes. And, um, and, and I think because I had the volume down and... Um, Obviously, there's a crowd in there now, so you don't kind of hear these things. But um, he, he, he said, um, yeah, I had a go at Jesse. He said he sort of made sure he sort of went down the floor and then screamed. And, yeah, I told him off for screaming. He said, um, he said he never used to do that sort of thing at our place, but he obviously does it up here. So, <laughs> <laughs> which says a lot. Um, I think we're ready for the draw. Oh, are we? Yeah, um, it's Mika Richard and some bloke with a saggy face called Red Dat. Um, well, I, I can tell you that unfortunately, both Tottenham and Chelsea are going to be in that draw because they both won on penalties. Unfortunately, no, um, no, but uh, there you go. Uh, at least, at least one of the Manchester it's, teams are out. Can't, can't have everything, can you? Yeah. No, of course, of course. But, so while we're just waiting for that draw, to, uh, is, is, is what side have you got it on there, Gnome? On uh, uh, Sky Sports, it's um, one of the Sky channels. Uh, I'll tell you which particular one. I've got it on Sky Sports Ultra HD, of course, because I, I like mm. to watch these things in Ultra HD. <laughs> uh, <Ooh. laughs> um, yeah, I want a dodgy stream. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we won. Final whistle, <laughs> gone. <laughs> My, um, I, I, I can't see the draw, so I think you're going to have to take us through that. Yeah, um, okay. I'm well, quite um, at the moment. Unless it's on Sky Sports News. Uh, we, well, we've got an advert for um, various uh, 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 turf accountants and bookmakers and things like that. Uh, All right. So we're just waiting now. Uh, okay. Well, while we're, while we're waiting, I can give you a, a couple of messages. Now. All right. Yeah, go on. Carry on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, check, get your messages yeah okay. A couple of, couple of uh, messages that have come in from West Ham players past and present. Um, Ian Bishop, uh, of course, remember him, says, great result, especially there and after the weekend. Uh, he's off to see Squeeze Official at the Hard Rock Cafe now. Nice one, uh, Bish. Uh, Anton Ferdinand says um, Ben Johnson was immense tonight and playing on his weaker side too. Uh, looks ready to step in when needed, which is great for us as a club. The squad is looking strong. And uh, a young man uh, called Declan Rice says, uh, what a win. What a performance from the boys. Into the next round we go. Uh, Grace Note Live confirming that West Ham end will win this run of 17 competitive matches against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Uh, their previous win here was a 1-0 Premier League win on the 13th of May 2007, which, of course, we spoke about at length during the game. No, are we ready to go yet? Uh, no, there's yet another. Um, I can give you more. Casino. Um, <laughs> I, can, they, I can give you more. Yeah, um, keep going, keep going. Well, I want, actually, you've already done this one. Statman Dave, uh, who I follow uh, religiously on Twitter, uh, confirming what you were saying. Manchester United had 27 shots against West Ham, but only four of them were shots on target from inside the box. A frustrating evening, and uh, also testament to how well. West Ham defended uh, this uh, this evening at, uh, at at Old Trafford. Um, we are getting close to that drawer. We're pretty uh, pretty much ready to go. West Ham are in it, of course. Leicester City in it. Manchester City won last night. Leeds United are uh, not just, full um, penalties last night. We're just getting rid of the adverts at the moment. Um, okay. I just got a comment on um, a, a, a comment from Hobo. Um, yes. And, uh, uh, he's got red cafe, more like sad cafe. Remember them? <laughs> yes. 
Um, we did we did that one while you was on Noble. We we oh we, right. Okay, and, and, okay, you know, yeah. I, I said the same thing. I said yes. I, I sadly I remember them too. Look look at Steve's comment underneath. You'll like that one. Uh, where are we? Uh, just catching up. Um, where are we? Uh, I remember every yeah. <laughs> I remember there every single day. I was just thinking, well, for Man United, yeah. At the moment, every day hurts if you were to be. Yes. Uh, lead <laughs> singer was, was called Paul Young, not that, not the wherever I lay my hat, that's my hat stand, Paul Young. Um, uh, a, a different Paul Young, who's uh, sadly no longer with us. But um, he used to play in a sort of a, a loose, sort of occasional, um, casual band called the SAS Band, which used to just um, go and do sort of lots of. Yeah, if anyone who happened to be free, they play these gigs from time to time. Um, so they're a lot of fun just playing rock standards, really. But uh, um, Fish did a few gigs with them over the years. And uh, Oh, tonight, by the this, way, this, in case anyone's is... interested, the T-shirt is Spock's Beard. Um, American Prog at its finest. There you go. I, I was about to say this. This stream is getting decidedly proggy, and uh, there you go. We, we've we've fully fallen into the prog. Oh, it's that yeah. cafe world prog, you know, just sort of. No, but you pop. know, the Spock's beard. I mean, come on, it, it doesn't get much more proggy than that. And I've never even heard of Spock's beard, but yeah. uh, what what a what a what a most proggy name that is. Yeah. Um, perfect. Yeah. Um, let's let's have a look at the teams known that, that that are in this draw. We, we've got Man City, we've got Stoke City, uh, Leeds United, Sunderland from Division One. Burnley, Liverpool, Southampton, Preston, North End, Brentford, we've got smashed Oldham 7 0. Um, QPR knocked out Everton on penalties. Yeah. Uh, and then we're tonight, just, Brighton, Leicester, we're Tottenham. We're going live now. Um, we're going live. We're going. We're, no one's going to take us through because he's, he's got the. Oh, I'll tell you his work. He's coming here club in, in um, Bedfordshire, which I guess is an improvement from when they were trying to do it in places like Thyland. So, or someone's in, front room, wasn't it, in the earlier round? Yeah, he, he did win the draw yeah. bizarrely. Harry right. Redknapp looking rather dapper, or is it? Or is, or is the, Harry um, Redknapp a dapper? He's got the Potter's Bowling Club polo shirt. He's been he wasn't wearing that when they they cut to the adverts, but they've just been given those to put it on. So uh, <laughs> to, to get the, get get on with it is the word uh, the words that immediately to mind every every football draw. You always end up saying get on with it. Um, Steve Palmer yeah. says Spock's beard sounds like a euphemism. Uh, yeah, it sounds like something straight out of uh, Roger's thesaurus, or Roger's thesaurus, doesn't it? For those, what does? Uh, those of you. Uh, Spock's beard sounds oh, like Spock's a euphemism. Beard. Oh, well. yeah. How's your yeah. Spock's beard? Yeah. If you like. <laughs> but, uh, are we going to get um, on with this, draw? Are we going to sit here yeah, chatting all night about... Yeah, uh, yeah. Harry uh, doesn't look very happy, does he? He looks yeah. like he wants to go to bed, the poor old sod. Uh, him and me both. Um, <laughs> but um, no, uh, yeah. Well, they've got the teams there: Brentford, Burnley, there Leeds, Liverpool, number Manchester, fourteen. Preston. That's the one to look out for. Number fourteen: GPR, West Ham, United. Stoke, Sunderland, Arsenal, Brighton, Chelsea, West Ham, Leicester, and Tottenham. Um, as you say, we're fourteen. Tottenham are sixteen. Chelsea are thirteen. Arsenal are eleven. If you're looking for London derbies, Brentford are one, and um, Liverpool, and Man City are four or five, respectively. Which, um, um, which Premier League top four giant do you expect us to get drawn away to in this, no? If you were wagering a... Uh, probably another... It's a, it's a trip from Salford to Manchester. I think we got Man City away usually. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was going to say Man City, but I, I'll, I'll go for Liverpool away then. Well, I, I was going to say I stand for a full house and Redknapp had his hand in the bowl, but put it, took it out. Right, we're up and running. Not for the first so, time. Number 13, which is Chelsea. That's not us. So, uh, Chelsea, we'll play Chelsea, at home. And my streams to eight, who are uh, Southampton. There you so go. Chelsea versus Southampton. Southampton got the uh, wrong end of the stick. Uh, 11, which I can't remember. That's Arsenal, I think. Yep, Arsenal at home. Here we go. We normally get Arsenal in the Carabao Cup, don't we, at some point? So this wouldn't be a surprise to see West Ham drawn out here. It won't be this time. It's Leeds. Not Arsenal at home to Leeds. Ooh, as they say. Ooh. Chelsea, Southampton, Arsenal, Leeds. Harry got his hand in the till again. Uh, sorry, hand in the uh, hand in the oh. pot again. Uh, <laughs> number nine, who was Stoke? 
who put out we'll take this last night. night. We'll take this. Uh, Stoker at home Brentford. Oh. So, will the big gun still in there? West Ham, Liverpool, yeah. okay. Tottenham. Not really a big gun, are they? Uh, Manchester City. Fourteen. We've got a home draw. Here we go. We're at, We're at home. We're at home. We're at home at last. Who are we going to get? Uh, it will Sunderland be... would be nice. We would like to five. see Sunderland. Maybe number five is Man City. <laughs> it was. What did we say? What did we say? We said Man City. Although we did stay away, but we um, did. We did. That'd be a good night. Uh, uh, Man City won't be looking forward to that. Uh, we gave them two good games last season, anyway. Bloody um, Man City, honestly. Yeah. You, you... 15 are Leicester. Uh, Leicester will be at home to... Um, Someone rubbish, no doubt. To Brighton. Leicester at home to Brighton. Um, the, the big news, West Ham have drawn uh, Man City in the next round of the Carabao Cup. Well, that... I don't know when the... I wonder when the last they time both lost. Manchester clubs out Man of the Man City cup, haven't lost in the League Cup since 2016, have they? So, as the rain got a cup where an end sometime. Yeah. Um, Burnley are at home to Spurs. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Could be a tough one. Uh, what have we got? Two two ties left. Four teams left to go. We've got Sunderland. QPR. Sunderland. We've got QPR in there, yeah. QPR, Sunderland, Liverpool aren't out yet, are they? Liverpool aren't out. Who's the last one? Did we had we had Chelsea, haven't we? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to look through. Liverpool, Burnley have gone. Leeds have gone. Um, oh, QPR at home City. to Sunderland. So Liverpool Bloody will be hell. one of the last teams. I don't know who we've got left. Um, who are Liverpool going to get drawn at home against? Yeah, reckon? they'll always be at home. Um, oh, Preston are at home. To, Good Lord. Yeah, so not far from we go. And that would be Liverpool. Well... Well, there you go. That's that's the uh, that's the eight ties for the next round of the Carabao Cup. Just run through them quickly. Chelsea at home to Southampton. Arsenal versus Leeds United. Stoke City and Brentford. Leicester City versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Burnley versus Tottenham. QPR versus Sunderland. Preston North End versus Liverpool. And the mighty Hammers. West Ham United drawing Manchester City. Of course we were going to draw Manchester City. We both said it, didn't we, before? We're at home, yeah. though. We didn't think it was going to be... Uh, at, uh, at the London Olympic Stadium, but there you go. Um, what do you make of that one? <laughs> Have we got any chance whatsoever? As you said, five yeah. years unbeaten in this competition. Um, yeah, I think we've got every chance because, um, as I say, look at last season. We we gave them two good games in the league. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, we're playing well this season. I think we beat the... I mean, Manchester City aren't quite sort of firing on all... All cylinders at the moment. Um, you know, we saw Southampton get a point and could have got all three up there um, recently. Yeah. Um, we're at home midweek. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's never um, never quite the same as the bowling, but you know, the crowd are a different prospect under lights. Indeed. And um, I, I don't. I, I I feel that's doable. Right. I wish I could um, share your comment. Mind you, I mean, let's be honest. You were saying tonight you fancied us. Two one, wasn't it? I think you went for yeah, yeah. on tonight's yeah. game. So uh, I said that tonight, and uh, yeah, I was right. You so called it. You called it. Have faith. Have faith. Well, yeah. I mean, I think if it was anyone else, I might do. But it's just what what sort of team have Manchester City been putting out? Do we know in the? Uh, I haven't. I mean, not that it really league, matters no, because no. they've got about a hundred yeah. superstar players anyway. But. Uh, I just just want to have a quick look and see what the uh, the the team was they put out uh, in the. I mean, last they went night. So of course they last night at some stage. I mean, okay, well, Wickham, but you know, and, and, yeah, six one they, they won. So they, they replied with six without without further response. But you know, well, um, their, their team last night they played Stefan in goal, uh, Egan Riley at uh, right back, Wilson Esbrand at left back, uh, and Betu Tabu. Uh, was the third double barreled <laughs> defender and a, a lad uh, called Burns, which completely lets the side down uh, alongside him at centre half. De Bruyne, Lavia, Foden in the centre, Mares, Torres Sterling. Not the strongest back four. I mean, if, that, if they're going to put out yeah. a similar side of kids in, uh, you know, at West Ham, you never know. There might be opportunities for the Hammers to, to do yeah. something there. So who knows? Who knows? Yeah. All right. Um, what about uh, talking about doable? 
Um, what about Leeds this uh, this Saturday? West Ham go to Ellen Road uh, for the first time, well, since last year, as we said before the show, but first time fans will have been at Ellen Road for, what, for what seven or eight years now, maybe a bit longer. Um, it's a three o'clock Saturday kickoff. Yet again, another three o'clock Saturday kickoff. Um, yeah, what are we thinking so about that one? I mean, Leeds haven't Europe. had a particularly good start to the season, have they? Is that... Uh, is that a game we should be looking to uh, take all three points from, do you think? Uh, it's, again, three points, certainly gettable. Um, they've got um, uh, they've got three points. To, they've only got three points all season. Um, yeah. Do you want to come back to me on that? Because Stuart Pearce yeah. is on line. Yeah. So I'm, there you I'll go. mute myself and then okay. we'll come back on that. Right. Um, Nomi's listed. So Stuart Pearce is uh, obviously going to give his reaction to that draw and what's happened at Old Trafford tonight. For those of you tuning in late, I'm sure there isn't any one of you that's not seen the uh, the result, but West Ham United have uh, performed something of a shock at Old Trafford this, this evening. A ninth-minute goal from Manuel Lanzini. Uh, another player we actually haven't mentioned throughout for Man of the Match. Had a great game um, while he was on the pitch. But, uh, yeah, Lanzini scoring the only goal of the game after nine minutes. Uh, and that was enough to send West Ham through to the next round and uh, a tie against Manchester City. Of course, it's Manchester City. It was always going to be one of the big teams, wasn't it? Uh, West Ham don't seem to uh, don't seem to get um, very good draws in the in the Carabao Cup. But um, West Ham, Eggy and Chips, writing on the KUMB.com forum, Match Red says the quadruple still on. Of course, it is. Uh, Bonzo's beard um, saying never in doubt. It was a great performance by all the players. Great to see Nobles win away there. Uh, I would have had him off, plus half the others shows what I know. Um, Alan Pardew's dad said it was a fantastic result from our second team, and Smuts adds Dawson and Diop were absolutely mustered tonight. Incredible performances. Ariola was solid. Kroll wasn't great on the ball, but didn't stop running and breaking up play. Um, for his finishing, Boeing didn't stop hassling. We really are two quality players away from being a top-notch side. And... Uh, so yeah, everyone, everyone's really positive. I mean, prof, Profit Margin was saying keeping a clean sheet was on paper tonight, quite a tough task. The four players I expect need to play well for us to win didn't start. And deride him as much as you want, but old man Noble played a foolish match tonight. Uh, who are Manchester United? Adrian Hammer. Um, he's on his way up to court with 10 slabs of beer, apparently, um, telling Paddy O'Hammer to stay where he is. And uh, we've done them for tonight fair and square. Uh, we did, but there was a, a little bit of gamesmanship from Manchester United, a bit of a dive in the penalty area from Jesse Lingard, according to Mark Noble, felt it was something he wouldn't have done while he was while he was at West Ham, but uh, did it tonight. Matic, of course, Noman and I felt really shouldn't have been on the pitch to um, very, very suspect challenges that should have been, or should have resulted in at least a yellow card uh, on each one. Um, West Ham Egging and Chips clearly liking uh, the quadruple still on comment because he's posted it about 10 times on the forum. Um, 61 Dixie talking about the injury to Ryan Fredericks uh, when he went down the, the the slope at the at the end just before the for the, the only goal of the game. Uh, it says that race pitch at Old Trafford is bloody dangerous, not just because of what happened to Fredericks, but because a player going full tilt and then getting a shove, you either end up face first in a hoarding or in the crowd face down. Um, valid point, perhaps something that uh, the Premier League needs to look at. No, Stuart Pearce has just been giving his verdict on the game and the uh, presumably the next round uh, draw. What did he have to say? Um, yeah, I didn't say much about the next round draw. I'm, I'm, I'm totally sure whether or not that might have been recorded a few minutes ago, the interview. Okay. But um, he was um, full of praise for the, the team and how they, um, the, 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 the hard work they put in. Yeah. Um, and uh, his phrase was, to a man, they were magnificent. And um, uh, he, he said, Really, he said, when we were dominant in those first 15 minutes, you know, yep. um, you know, we had other chances we should have scored and we should, probably should have scored at the end. Um, but um, he said that um, when we came away on, um, uh, on, on su Sunday, we were disappointed not to get stuff out of the game. And that's because we got this winning mentality. And um, Do you want to hear uh, what Ole's got, got to say? Uh, I'll just go on to Solskjaer now if you want to. Yeah, go start on. waffling again for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, no doubt there'll be a few salty comments coming from Solskjaer. But uh, anyway, uh, Rob Young says, uh, I wanted Spurs in the Cup. Had a couple of good results over them, Robin. We in the Carabao Cup in recent years. And uh, Steve uh, Pay says, Well, if you want to win, you've got to beat the best. Bring it on. Um, good stuff. Um, thank you. 
uh, to everyone joining us on the stream tonight. We are going to end it uh, very, very soon. No, just listening to Solskjaer uh, to hear what he had to say about the game. And that will be uh, just about it after that. Uh, West Ham winging, of course, here. 1-0. Great stuff. Uh, payback. Payback, you could say, couldn't you, in some ways, for what happened on Sunday. Uh, you know, the Hammers, a lot of people felt were unjustly beaten, went down 2-1. Had the opportunity to draw at the end with that penalty, but uh, Noble, Mark Noble, um, missed his uh, missed the missed the chance to do that and came back tonight and you know left the pitch a very happy man this evening, big smile on his face. The skipper, you know, he's uh, he's unfortunately not tasted too many victories uh, up here during his career, but I'm sure certainly sure that one will be one to savor for him tonight. Um, we will see if he's uh, back later on. In the competition, uh, West Ham, of course, as we were touching on a few minutes ago, going to Leeds this weekend. A uh, chance for West Ham to get back to winning ways. Of course, without winning the Premier League in three games, the Hammers draws, you know, a couple of draws against Sunderland. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, Sunderland, sorry, not Sunderland, Southampton. I mean, in Crystal Palace, Sunderland. Got that in the brain from the draw earlier. And then, of course, defeat against Manchester United on Sunday. So no winning three for the Hammers in the uh, Premier League. But, uh, of course, the, the wins against Leicester and Newcastle got us off to a decent start. But uh, a, a real opportunity, you'd think, for West Ham to get back to winning ways at Ellen Road this weekend. No one was just saying before we uh, we cut out there that Leeds have only got three points this season. Really, really looking, uh, you know, nowhere near as good as they were last year. So, uh, good opportunity for the Hammers. What do you think? Do you think we'll win that one? And let us know in the comments uh, if you're still watching. On the, on the live stream, if you think West Ham are going to uh, be able to take all three points up there this weekend. But um, to, uh, to wrap us up, Noam, uh, what, did, uh, what did Ole have to say? Was he, was he um, you know, bitter at all? Or did he sort of accept that his team just... Um, I, 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 to be fair to him, he was kind of just... Um, he was rather phlegmatic about it. He didn't really sort of um, show any bitterness. He said it should have been a penalty when asked about it. Of course, he would, but... Um, uh, uh, but um, uh, you got the impression that he's not exactly um, going to be crying too much tonight over not being in the next round of the League Cup. Yeah. Um, yeah he, he said we had a lot of pressure, um, but, um, you know, we, we couldn't make it tell. We looked a bit better when, Green, when I brought Greenwood on. He had a good chance, but... Um, at the end, he said, um, you know, realistically, they, they could have had another couple at the end. So, um, you know, that's just the way the game goes sometimes. So, uh, um, no regrets about making changes. It's a long season. We've got um, four competitions to play through. So, uh, um, you know, the, the, they weren't, they, you know, the changes he made, they were all people who had decent amounts of first team experience. Yeah. Um, so you know, it, it's not like he put the kids out before. Yeah, nobody's putting an asterisk, an asterisk against our, our name on that win. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I mean, no, he was as I say, he's, yeah, we're out of the cup. He said it's not great, but you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So. Um, All right. Good stuff. Go. Well, we'll. Uh, I think we'll leave it there for tonight. Oh. Um, what a Can't what a fan. Me. What a fantastic <laughs> night it's been. Uh, final word, Noam, uh, on what you've seen tonight. Um, absolutely delighted. Splendid performance. Magnificent. A word been banded around. And that's not hyperbole. That really is. It really was a magnificent performance. Um, could be more proud of them at the moment. Um, long may this continue, as I say. Whisper it, but we're actually not bad. And, uh, of course, West Ham still fighting in four fronts yeah. this season. The Premier League, I, I, the, I, I, Cup, the FA United. Cup and the Europa League. Yeah. And, of course, uh, a big shout out to Essex for getting that uh, Division 2 trophy, such as it is, by uh, finish, finishing Northampton off in a day and a half. Yes. Um, so, well, well played, lads. Yeah. And, yeah it's, um, it's, it's, it's been a, if you're a West Ham and an Essex fan, it's, uh, it's not been a bad day, is it, all in all, really? I suppose all things considered, but... It's um, a stat for you. Uh, apparently, 170 is the lowest ever first-class total that's been enough to win a game by an innings. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Well, that, is, that is some going, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but there you go. Um, 
West Ham winning, Essex winning. What a great day it's been if you're, yeah. if you're from that part of the world. But um, fantastic night for West Ham. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Thanks, joining guys. us on the live stream. We've really appreciated your company. It's been it's been a really good night tonight, hasn't it? No, I've really enjoyed that. And it's, you know, yeah, we don't always say that, but we seem to be saying it more and more lately, don't we, with this West Ham team where, as you say, we're, we're actually a pretty decent side right now, aren't we? It's, and it's just fun yeah. to watch and uh, thoroughly enjoyable. You're not here. On Saturday, you're, I won't you're be around elsewhere. on Saturday, unfortunately. Um, okay. uh, other commitments, but um, no problem. Uh, I, I, well, I, we'll... I, might, um, I, I might sneak a quick look at the uh, whoever's around um, just to keep um, up to date with things. All right. And um, but uh, yeah, have, have a good day on Saturday. And um, right, buddy. where are we with officialists? Is it the following week we got Rapid at the end? Um, yeah, we've got it's third. It's the following Thursday, isn't it? I think. Um, let me just have a quick look. I'll, Leeds, I'll Leeds Saturday. Then and realize, just yeah. to let him know he's got he's got two 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 uh, previews a week to write. He will be pleased. Um, He'll be delighted. <laughs> yeah, uh, keep, keep, um, keeps the punters coming in anyway. Everyone likes a bit of Percy. Um, yeah. Available in two versions, of course, <laughs> at the moment, written and video. Make sure you uh, catch both because they're both excellent. <laughs> And take bloody ages to do, but uh, no, from from, from from both perspectives. Yeah, it's, uh, right it's been you. a fantastic night. I've got a wedding. It's all right yes, for you. I've well, got that's a wedding. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's been a brilliant night at Old Trafford tonight. Yeah. It's finished. Manchester United nil, West Ham United one. We've had a ball here tonight. I hope you all have. And uh, it's Manchester City in the next round of the uh, the Carabao Cup. West Ham march on, fighting in forefront still. Um, what a great night it's been. We'll see you all again on Saturday when we go to Ellen Road, West Ham United versus Leeds. Uh, until then, keep smiling, Hammers. It's going to be a great season. Come on, you Good Irons. Night, night all. Right, so we're here in the offices of a Late Late Show with the host of a Late Late Show, James Corden. Hi. Big West Ham fan. Yes. <laughs> I'm big knees up Mother Brown, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm regularly on the general discussion page. There's always someone who's got some information, so I love it, yeah. yeah. It's great. Yes, it's Find excitement it. surrounded by imminent disappointment. <laughs> that's what it that's what it mostly is. Get on the forum at KUMB.com. Come on you irons. <laughs> <laughs>